Hello and welcome to Castles and Legends. Today we're in the little seaside town of Aberystwyth on the Welsh coast. It's very nice. I've left the others down on the beach. It's a little breezy, but well, I have discovered there is a castle here, so I thought we should go and have a look. Amongst the tourist attractions, and just a few yards away from the sea, lies the ruins of one of Edward I's greatest fortresses, Aberystwyth Castle. The castle saw much conflict between the English and Welsh, and it is the site of the first known use of cannons in Britain. The first castle built at Aberystwyth was a timber ringwork constructed by the marcher lord Gilbert de Clare in around 1110 and a mile south of the current site. The castle changed hands repeatedly as the Normans and Welsh constantly fought for control. In 1221, Llewellyn the Great captured the castle and it is believed that he demolished it and constructed a new one in its place. In 1277, Edward I ordered the construction of several new castles as part of his campaign against the Welsh. These included Flint Castle, Ridland Castle, Bilf Wells and Aberystwyth Castle. In 1282, the Welsh rebelled and captured and greatly damaged the incomplete Aberystwyth Castle. In 1283, Edward recaptured his castle and construction resumed under the King's Master Mason, James of St George. The castle was finally completed in 1289, but at a colossal sum for the time of £4,300. Aberystwyth Castle was designed in a diamond-shaped concentric layout. It contained an inner ward, surrounded by a curtain wall and four massive round towers positioned at each corner. The castle had a D-shaped gatehouse keep and defensive features included arrow loops, battlements and a moat. In 1294, Aberystwyth Castle proved its mightiness when it was besieged and withstood attacks from the Welsh during the revolt of Madoc ap Llewellyn. By 1307, the castle and town were flourishing, but just a few decades later, during the time the Black Prince controlled the castle in 1343, it was in a poor state of repair. The close proximity to the turbulent sea was causing decay. The main gateway, Draw bridges and Outer Bailey were falling down. During the rebellion of Owain Glyndwr in the early 15th century, Glyndwr took advantage of Aberystwyth Castle's poor state and seized it. By 1408, the castle was back in the hands of the English. After a successful siege led by Prince Henry, the future King Henry V, the siege involved the first known use of cannons in Britain, although this did not go entirely to plan, as historians recorded that the 4.5 ton cannon, likely the one called the Messenger, blew up, killing its gun crew in the process. Following Glyndwr's failed rebellion, a new era of peace between the English and Welsh ensued, but Aberystwyth Castle lost its military importance and was left to fall into disrepair. In 1637, King Charles I designated the castle as a royal mint in which silver shillings were produced. When the English Civil War began, the mint's operator was loyal to the king and raised a regiment of royalist soldiers. 
parliamentarians besieged the castle in 1645. The royalist troops withstood for months, but eventually surrendered in 1646. Following the royalist defeat in the English Civil War, the parliamentarian leader, Oliver Cromwell, ordered the castle to be slighted, destroyed, to prevent it from ever being used again. The castle was left in ruins, and unfortunately, much of the stone was taken away by locals for building. Aberystwyth Castle is now a Grade 1 listed monument that is looked after by Aberystwyth Town Council and is free for the public to explore. I've really enjoyed having a look about today. Been a bit breezy, but that never stops me. I think though, however, it is time I go and find the others on the beach and maybe get an ice cream. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do give me a like if you have. And if you've not already, please do subscribe. And I hope to see you on another castle adventure. Bye for now.